Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. So if you take a look at these uh, images here, we have all these different lines that are basically connecting points. It's a really cool technique that's been used quite a bit lately. And I just want to show you a quick resource to make these really easily in Cinema 4D. Here's a quick animation example. All these lines are connected to points and they're sort of uh, moving around and undulating. Here's another example used in a video called Stuxnet. So the way we're going to do this is using the Ray Connector plugin, which is 100% free, which you can find on c4dtools.net. And I'm just going to show you how to get up and running with it really quick. So the first thing we're going to do is add a MoGraph matrix. Now we're going to use thinking particles, and they're basically going to be uh, a particle on each of these matrices. So instead of matrices, what we're going to do is generate thinking particles. And you can see it makes a little white dot on each of these cubes. Uh, meaning we're kind of generating thinking particles. So we need these to be moving, so we're going to add a MoGraph effector random effector, and if you go into the effector, we can change the random mode to noise, which means they're actually going to be moving around. We're going to slow down the animation speed just a little bit. So now we have particles that are kind of undulating around. Now we just need a way to connect them all with lines. So what we're going to do is go to our plugin, and then go to our Ray Connector plugin and add that. Now, what we need to do is add a TP group into this slot so that it knows which particles to use. But we don't actually have any particles here. We can't add you know, our matrix object. So what we need to do is find the hidden thinking particles panel. So what we need to do is go to simulate, and then we're going to go to thinking particles, and then we have this thinking particle settings. And then we have a little window that pops up. Now, here are our particle groups and we only have one. So what we need to do is go into the Ray Connector and in this TP group slot, we drag all into there. Now it's gonna have uh, the thingy particles loaded up, but nothing's happening yet. Let's actually turn off the matrix here. All right, so nothing's happening. That's because if you can see, these particles are not actually moving. That's because in the matrix object, we need to go ahead and change the particle priority to after effectors so that the random effector actually affects the the individual particles. Now you can see that we're getting something right in the middle here. There's a little line. Um, we can close this out. Now what we need to do is change the properties on our ray connector and we can change the radius. Now you can see we're starting to have lines popping up. Um, go ahead and change the max rays and then we'll add a whole bunch more. And now you can see we're getting that same effect with uh, all the lines connecting and undulating. It's a really cool effect. So this is basically how you get the setup. Now I'm going to go ahead and refer you to uh, this Ray Connector demo video. Uh, I basically showed you how to set it up, but the rest of the demo video is going to show you a lot more features and different ways that you can use it. Also, if you're having any problems, make sure to check out the discussion on this product page. It should help you out. And one other thing, if you want to do this in After Effects, check out Plexus. It's a plugin on AE Scripts. So you can get effects like this in After Effects with Plexus. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's 200 bucks. But if you're looking for this effect in After Effects, that's probably the best way uh, to do it. So check that out on AE Scripts. I hope you find that useful. And thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.